She got this at an antique store and she paid $275 for it and turned around and sold it for $789 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have some unexpected or big money bolos coming your way. Items that members of my channel picked up for a great price and sold for an awesome profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's start with the first one it is from Vichy's treasures and this is her ebay store you can check it out here i will link all of the youtube channels and their ebay stores down in the description of the video so be sure to go down and check out what they have available um, if you would like to follow an ebay store there is a little heart where is it right here save seller you can click on that and then you will get alerts when they post new items for sale all right, so the first item she sold is this amazing mid-century modern cocktail shaker by Hazel Atlas. It is incredible. They are dancing pigs. <laughs> what do you think about that? All right, so she got this in a lot of items, paid 60 for the whole lot, and this one item sold for a best offer of $120. The next item is this Super 8 Mark 10 Reflex Zoom Vintage Movie Camera, clean with case, retro, and cool. And she got this at a yard sale for $2, took a best offer of $62.50. So not, I don't think I've ever seen one of these, have you? Um, would you have picked it up or would you have walked past it? Look how, <laughs> just look at it. Look at technology today compared to this. It's just incredible, right? The next item she sold is this vintage 1946-65 Anchor Hawking Fire King Jane Ray Jadeite Cup and Saucer. And these came from an auction. She had $8, I believe, total in both of them. And she is selling these for $24.95 a piece. And you can see right here, it's got the original sticker on it and everything. So that is pretty much new old stock, I would think. If it would have been used, uh, there definitely would not be a sticker inside the cup. So really nice find. All right, Gail's new and vintage. No YouTube channel, but this is her eBay store. Again, just a great variety of vintage to now items. You can check that out down below. And we are going to look at the three items that she sold. So she sold this on Etsy and she is also Gail's new and vintage over there on Etsy. Etsy also has that follow button so you can check her out there. Uh, it's a vintage pottery clay stove chimney candle burner, gray carved accents, handles seven inch, sold for $49.99. Look how pretty it is. And um, she picked this up from a friend for a buck. So really nice um, return on her money there. The next item is this, uh, is it Fontanini? I think is how you say it. Five inch Holy Family three piece set, 1992 Christmas Nativity three, I'm sorry, 71503. And um, this had the original box. So that is fantastic. I was hoping to see what the bottom of these looked like. Um, I think I just passed the one with the marking on it. Okay, so this actually has, let me see if I can find that for you. Here it is. So it says, yep, it actually says it on the bottom. I had a nativity and um, I had quite a pe few people tell me that they thought that it was this brand and uh, there were no markings on it whatsoever. I did end up selling it for, I want to say between 75 and 100. It was a really great set, but I couldn't identify it was hollow on the inside and I could not identify it. All right. She got this at a church sale for $2 and sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. 
The next item here is this Carhartt. It is, um, she sold this on Poshmark and here is her Poshmark, Poshmark tag, Gail's new underscore VTG. Um, and it is a black vest, pilot flying embroidery size, extra large. So it's new old stock here. And she got this at a yard sale for $10 and sold it in the same day for 50 on Poshmark. And it's got the little pilot flying there on the side. All right, this one more, we've got one more here. We've got a bonus because it's Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, Teddy Ruxpin. I have a hard time saying that word. It's the talking plush caterpillar. So um, I do kind of feel like the market has gone down for Teddy Ruxpin and this guy right here. They used to go for crazy money, but she sold this for $38 on Poshmark. You can sell plush and toys on Poshmark. Um, if you want to see other items, I sell hard goods on Poshmark. So if you want to see what I'm selling on Poshmark, I have what sold videos dedicated just to Poshmark. So all of my, um, hard good items that I'm selling over there, but she picked this plush up for $1 at a yard sale. She said it took a long time to sell, but she sold it for 38 and this is Grubby the Caterpillar. All right, we have eBay store Groundhog. No YouTube channel, but again, just an amazing um, display of different types of items in her store. Vintage to now. Look at these little elves. They are so cute. Made in Japan. You got to love it, right? So definitely check her out. And check out this. This is amazing. Um, Mid-century modern wood nautical ocean four fish sculpture kinetic motion moving modern art. Um, she got this in a high bid box. Um, so high bid is like an auction site, and twelve dollars and fifty cents is what she has into it, and it sold for a best offer of hundred and thirty-five dollars, and that's just incredible. The next item, I love this. It's assorted gimp border upholstery trim rope 15 skeins eight pounds so let me zoom in here on these different um i guess she called them gimps never heard of that word i don't know too much about uh material gimp g-i-m-p and she Picked this up on high bid for approximately $2 and took a best offer of $150 on that. So yeah, anytime you can find vintage like lace and stuff like this, there definitely is a market for it. I have heard that people are using these for junk journaling. So keep that in mind. All right, this is really cool. It's a vintage 29-inch paper roll butcher general store holder with IRHA hardware paper roll. Look at this. How incredible is that? That's pretty cool. Um, she got this for $2 at the Salvation Army and sold it for $99.99 .99 plus shipping. Thrifton Style 1156 eBay store. I see toys. Looks like things I sell. I love it. Uh, again, looks like vintage to now items. Lots of Great stuff. Might be some good uh, Christmas gifts there for you guys. She sold this Britney, C Britney Spears CD from 2006. It is new sealed with autograph poster by Sony Records. And she posted this in the Facebook group. And it wasn't long after she posted it that she came back and said how quickly this sold. She got this at an estate sale for $2 and it sold in five hours for $34.97 plus shipping. So it looks like it is a sealed CD. This is a golf club. And I know a lot of people um, have shown a lot of interest in which golf clubs are worth money. I cannot help you with that. So I thought this one would be a good one to share. Um, Beryllium. Copper Golf Club, the Natural Three Wood Loft, 15 right-handed. Now, what I will say is typically with these golf clubs, all of the information is on the club. So you should be able to search comps pretty easily. Um, I do not do golf clubs. Not a fan of figuring out how to ship those. She got this for free and sold it for $49 plus shipping.
The next item is this Tokyo Disney Duffy Bear Face Soft Plush Bag. And again, these are just fun little bread and butter bolos that are kind of unexpected. And you definitely want to be on the lookout for those also because these are the things that are going to fill your store and keep your sales afloat um, because they're easier to find. I don't know if this one's easier to find. I've never seen one of these, but bread and butter in general. Uh, sold this for $29.97 plus shipping and she got this for $3. And I'm sorry she didn't say where she got it. The next item comes from 1987 Ventures. Tracy, go and sub up her YouTube channel. She hasn't put out any content lately. I'm hoping she's going to come back soon, but um, sub her up in case she puts out a new video. She's fantastic. And this is what she sold. This is a Biker Share Care Bear Celebration Collection Carolot Choppers from 2005. It's 10 inches and it is really cute. Um, look at the back. Ah, you got to love it, right? Uh, she got this at a yard sale for 50 cents and took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. All right, this one right here. Now, she did take a drastically reduced price for this. Um, it's super cool. It's Rocky and Bullwinkle Cereal Unused Transfer Sheet, Premium General Mills, 1970s. So you guys, cereal box things, Cracker Jack things, all of those old toys that came in those boxes. Those items are very collectible. And I forget what she said, but there was a story behind the person that bought it. And they emailed her or messaged her through probably eBay. And she ended up taking a best offer of $50 for this. She got them at an estate sale. And she has another one that she still has to list. But um, I think it's a different um, transfer. But $5 for each. So 5 into 50 is still fantastic. The next item she sold is this antique fireman's ribbon pen eagle engine, Hyde Park, New York. And this is what it looks like. How cool is that? Get you some measurements. And that's what I do too. I just put my tape measure in the photo. So then there's no questions. Uh, she got this in an estate sale box lot and she sold this for a best offer of $65 plus shipping. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, this is her YouTube channel and she puts out tons of bolo content. And she was recently in my This Is My Bolo video and Noel has a tendency to go over her time limit of 60 seconds, but in that video, she talked about a vintage scream mask that she sold, and she goes into detail of what to look for, and I know that that is a question that comes up quite often, so um, if you want to check out that video, go towards the end, and you will get a lesson on scream masks. But why I'm telling you that is because she likes to give lessons. She does these uh, videos right here. Like this one's on ephemera. This one's on odd things that sell. Asian, Chinese, and Japanese. And she does a deep dive and goes live and talks about them. So you guys can bring your questions to that live show. And that is on Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely check out Noelle. All right. This is one of the unexpected Big Bunny Bolo things that she sold. And she will sell some crazy stuff, unexpected items. I love seeing the stuff she sells. Her videos are fantastic because look at this. It's all torn up. Would you have picked it up or would you have walked past it? Um, it's really in bad condition. All right. So I don't even know what it is. I think it's a book. Um, let's see. Let's go up here and look at the category. Yes. Uh, yeah. Collectible books. Um, J U G E N D. J ah, I don't know. I don't even know how to say that. That's how that's right. Right there. Munchner. Um, yeah, is, this is another language. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't, you guys can just read the title. Okay. Anyway, she got it at an estate sale for, uh, did I write it down? Five cents. It came in a box lot of miscellaneous papers. So she's got about a nickel on this and took a best offer of $120. 
So even if you can't read it, use Google Lens, figure out what it's worth. All right, Christopher Radko. Um, Noelle scored some Radko ornaments and she didn't score the bread and butter Radko. She scored the big money ones. Um, if you don't know about Christopher Radko, definitely go into eBay and search high to low solds and you will be amazed. Just a big money bolo. Um, she got this at an estate sale for $2 and sold it for a best offer of 90 plus shipping. The next item here is this Forbidden Fruit Vintage Art Deco Lucite Lemon Yellow Brooch Pin Crystal Rhinestones. And um, she got this at an estate sale for $1 and sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. And if you follow Noelle over on Instagram, she shares her sold posts. And there was actually a story behind this one. So definitely go check out her Instagram to see uh, what happened with this brooch. And um, Noelle talks about it quite often about pricing up and, you know, holding out and waiting for the right buyer. And that's what she did on that one. Abigail's Artful Abode. I just love her channel art. Um, her channel is amazing. She is so artistic and just talented. You definitely want to go over and check out some of her videos. Um, she's incredible. So go and sub her up. She will be linked down below. And let's see. She sold these rare four cards, Tetlow College Girl Series, Harvard, Penn, Yale, Princeton basketball. So this is what they are. I don't know. I don't think they're postcards. I, I'm not really certain. Let's go up here and see what category. College, university, collectibles. Um, pick these up at an estate along with hundreds of other postcards from the same era. So maybe they are actually postcards. All right. She got these out of an album. She paid $10 for the entire album and took a best offer of $145 just on these. The next item she sold are these Doc Martens, and she went on Facebook and found these. She got five pair for a hundred, so that puts her cost of goods for these at twenty dollars, and they sold for two hundred and twenty dollars plus shipping. Doc Martens can definitely be a bolo. The next item is this vintage Dimensions counted cross stitch kit, and she got this at the Goodwill. She bought three of them for nine dollars and ninety five cents. And she said she picked them up because she watches my channel and she has heard me talk about cross stitch kits. Now, I will say the dimensions stockings do pretty well. They are definitely a bolo item. So definitely be on the lookout. I will also tell you, do you see where it says baby? Um, I have had some that have had writing on them like that. And what I do is I take a dry erase marker and I go over that and then wipe it off with a paper towel, and that should take that off. I don't know if it would have increased the value of this or not, but um, that is what I do for a uh, marker that is on plastic like that. She ended up taking a best offer of $65 plus shipping for that. All right, Leo's Treasures. Here is her store. And here are just some of the featured items. Oh, she's got a little Boyd's candy corn. How cute is that? She has lots of cute stuff. Definitely, definitely go and uh, check out her store. All right, let's see what she sold here. She sold this Jim Shore Santa stocking hanger holder, Hartwood Creek box from uh, with box from 2010. And she got this at an estate sale for $5 and took a best offer of 75. If you're not familiar with Jim Shore, definitely always look it up if you see it. Um, this is what the tag looks like on the bottom. And Jim Shore usually is a bolo. Uh, usually a lot of it goes for big money, but some of it's bread and butter. But still, if you can pick it up cheap, it is definitely a good item to pick up. Now, she did say these took a long time to sell. Um, I think it's Adriano Goldschmied or Goldschmied. I'm not sure how to say it, but they are cigarette leg jeans. And, um, I think these were trending big time a while back. This brand was really hot. Um, so I think the markets kind of went down for these, but not 100% sure. I am not a clothing reseller. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'm guessing since they took a while to sell, it was either the brand or maybe the style. But 
check this out. She paid $2.99 for these at the Goodwill and she flipped them for $45.75 plus shipping. So she was patient and she waited on the right buyer and she made a fantastic return on those. The next item is this, and I absolutely love this. It's a Pottery Barn Kids. Pottery Barn Kids is usually a pretty good bolo. Uh, definitely look it up if you see it. This one is from 2013. It is a Halloween trick-or-treat bag where the wild things are. She got this at the Goodwill Bins for 40 cents and sold it for $45.75. And you can see it's got a little wear to it, but what a cool item. I love the unexpected bolos. So I probably would have picked that up just because it was Pottery Barn Kids and it's really cool. All right, the next item comes from The Quiet Thrifter. Again, most of the people in this video do not have YouTube channels, but they have fantastic eBay stores. So go and check them out. Check out that owl. Oh my goodness, look at that, that Halloween mask. That's incredible. Wow. All right. She's got some really nice stuff. Look at this. Oh my goodness, you guys. Rare, hard to find Kent Gutzmer folk art wicked witch carving sculpture double signed 37 inches. Let's take a look at this. Now, she did pay up a little bit for it. Are you guys ready to hear the story or the price? She got this at an antique store. And she paid $275 for it and turned around and sold it for $789 plus shipping. That is incredible. This is a vintage Royal Hager USA 6064 Running Deer Gazelle Brown Rust Gold Glaze, 18 inch. And how pretty is that? Let's see if I can find any information maybe on the bottom for us, what to look for. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. It was originally sold at JCPenney. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. All right. So she got this at a thrift store, paid $12 for it and sold it for $125 plus shipping. The next item she got in the free pile, I'm guessing maybe at a garage sale or an estate sale. And she loves selling lamps. I actually featured her. Um, I did a what sold featured members video on her, just her store dedicated to her because she sells some crazy stuff that I walk past. So definitely check out that video. The Quiet Thrifter is her eBay store. Vintage Antique uh, Torchelier. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Floor Lamp Glass Shade Luster um, Embossed 13 Inch. She got, again, from the free pile and took a best offer of $95 on that one. All right, this comes from In the Life of a Reseller. This is Josie, and she is formerly Designs by Josie, and I believe she is Designs by Josie over on Whatnot, so you can check her out over there as well. Um, let's see what she sold. She sold this Citizen Eco Drive Men's Titanium Sapphire Watch Black Dial date, and then she's got this number on here, and it is working. She got this out of a box lot of watches, 500 watches for $300 and took a best offer on this one. She did take a low offer. She took it for uh, 75 bucks and had it listed for 250, but her cost of goods was um, so low that, you know, $75 is great. And it looks like right now, extra 10% off with code 10 off right now. I don't know if that's still going on or not, but um, her link will be down below. All right, Pulsar Tex Technology. Is that a typo or is that how you spell it? Oh, yep, it should be technology. It's a typo. I was like, am I saying that right? Model 2030 taximeter made in the USA. So even with the typo, um, it's still sold. She got this as a gift from another reseller. And again, she priced it high and took a best offer of $70 plus shipping on that. This is a vintage 1970s deep purple woven glitter sew on patch. Um, this would fall under the bread and butter, but unexpected bread and butter. This sold for $20. It's just a patch. And this was something that was just hanging around her house that she decided to list. So, um, and it sold the same day. 
So quick sale, $20 in pocket of an item sitting around her house. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, all of those links are down in the description of the video. Um, eBay stores, YouTube channels, if they have them. Um, let me know in the comments what was the most unexpected bolo that you saw. If you would like to join memberships to be in a video like this, there is a link down below in the description. There's also a join button right here, but sometimes on your phone, you can't see it. So I do have it linked under my link tree. And then there's also a separate link. Um, to be in this video, it is level two. Uh, no pressure. It's just if you want to get exposure to your YouTube channel or your eBay store. Again, thank you all so much for being here and watching. Thank you to all my members that shared and stay tuned for the next members video. Thanks for watching.